What's going on everyone? This is Mitch. Hope you all are having a great start to your weekend so far, a great Saturday morning. We're going to break down the weekend forecast and talk about kind of what to expect for the majority of the eastern U.S. There is some active weather expected today across places like Oklahoma, Missouri, Arkansas, where a wind-driven enhanced, <clears throat> enhanced risk is in place today for a big-time wind-driven threat as far as an M MCS that could form um, and really provide like a squall line of storms kind of signature here later today. And uh, also just scattered, just strong potentially storms, potential storms for later today, you know, for places like the Carolinas, South Carolina, things like that. So we're going to talk about when, where, also break down Sunday. It doesn't look quite as active, but kind of an active weather just depending on where you're located as far as severe weather, um, which isn't super common this far south in the country. Um, this time of the year, but um, we have a, like an upper trough kind of digging down upper level low It's kind of uh, really getting a low-level jet going and just uh, kind of throwing uh, at risk of severe weather um, And for areas of the country, so we're gonna dive into that This is just the weekend forecast. I like to do sometimes especially when the weather's kind of slow But if you guys have not subscribed definitely hit the subscribe button. I try to upload content every single day and um I think to this evening, we're probably going to start to break down, really looking ahead the rest of the month of July. We're going to take a look at the tropics, see what we see, and see why the conditions are what they are. So we're really going to break that down, so stay tuned this evening if you're interested for that. But thank you all for the amazing support, especially the last month. I've gotten a, a lot of uh, growth, and um, we got to keep going through the slow times, but it's going gonna, it's gonna to get active again, guys, so definitely stay tuned. Hurricane season, it, you know, that was just a tip of the iceberg. I really think it is. So uh, let's get going here. So the Storm Prediction Center, an enhanced risk for uh, southwest Missouri all the way to central Oklahoma. That includes Oklahoma City, Tulsa, and uh, and, and also northwest uh, Arkansas. Basically what's going to happen here is it looks like a line of storms is going to form here. Uh, the tornado threat is pretty low, a 2% chance in the area in the green of 25 miles. We're going to give a location to wind threat, um, a 30% chance from Springfield, Missouri to Oklahoma City, Norman area. Uh, big time wind threat with this. Hail threat is pretty high too, but but not near as high. So we need to really pay attention to this. What's driving this is you almost got like an upper level low kind of signature, just kind of a bowling ball through this area. That's promoting severe weather. A little dip in the trough, if you will, a little dip in the jet stream. So uh, that little dip is promoting severe weather, especially when you have um, an inverted look like this. Um, it really promotes severe weather. So we'll look at the NAM. We're going to focus on the NAM in this video and check out the energy really shooting through. And this is initializing early this afternoon. But look at the line of storms that develops in Missouri and Oklahoma and really starts to dig down here. Meanwhile, you have scattered showers and storms developing in South Carolina. And any, any, any one of these can be strong to severe. They really could. They could produce frequent lightning. It's just that time of the year. We're in July now, and um, it's just the summer weather. Now, this isn't very common for this far south this time of the year, but it's not super uncommon either. But this kind of stuff right here is very common, especially in Florida. Have the pop-up showers and storms, especially if you're in Disney World. Wake up, it's hot, humid, beautiful conditions, and then by the afternoon you got your t traditional tropical downpours popping up in Florida. Very, very common for that area down there, and um, definitely some stormy conditions this afternoon, especially if you're in South Carolina, and in areas of Kentucky, and in areas in Tennessee, just depending on where you are. So keep your eye on the radar. But this is a big time area right here. Um, and this is basically just a bowed out line of storms that's going to form and there's going to be a wind threat with this. So if you're in the path of this, if you're basically in the entire central to southern areas of Missouri and uh, the, basically the entire eastern half of Oklahoma and Arkansas for later in the evening especially, um, big time severe weather threat here. And as this gets going, it'll die off with the heating, with it losing the heating of the day and the cooler at night. And then it'll likely refire a little bit further southeast. And that's when we have some waves of showers and storms that can affect a good chunk of the Mid-South and the Southeast. And another active day for the Carolinas and even parts of Georgia for your Sunday. So it's going to be stormy in the Southeast. It's going to be pretty much a very stormy in the Eastern U.S. I think in the, in the extreme Northeast area, you're not going to get a lot of there's going to be some isolated showers and storms, but nothing too crazy, I really don't think. Um, but here we go. A little bit closer looking at Oklahoma. 
uh, this afternoon and evening, the line of storms begins to form. Big time wind threat with this. Uh, isolated hail threat also. Um, this gets going and it moves on out. But if you take a look at this right here, um, look at these strong uh, line, strong to severe line of storms that develops in southern Missouri and starts sweeping through Arkansas late evening into overnight. Especially if you're if you're in Arkansas overnight, um, definitely have a weather radio or something, a way to get alerts because um, this could really um, you could be asleep and this is you know a big wind driven line, a wind driven line of storms. It could really wake you up if you're in the Ozarks and places like that overnight. Um, a little bit closer look at these showers and storms for the southeast, and they're going to be popping up this afternoon. The H triple R model really isn't as aggressive as the NAM. Um, but I'm leaning towards the NAM, um, a lot of high humidity in place, and uh, just kind of like yesterday, we had some pretty intense storms around the area yesterday, but, um, you know, some, some showers and storms are definitely going to pop up really anywhere in the southeast, kind of hard to pinpoint. Uh, places like Louisiana, to Mississippi, to Alabama, and Georgia, I don't think it's going to be as widespread as places like western North Carolina and South Carolina, but there still will be isolated storms there too. Virginia also some activity up there so kind of a stormy stormy uh, weekend for a big chunk of the country obviously we're in the summer it's not going to rain all day it's just not how it works it, it always blows my mind when I'm talking to people at work um, they'll be like oh there's an, you know a 60% chance of rain a day and they just immediately make the assumption that it's going to rain all day you know, if you live really anywhere in the country, y'all should, you, most people should know that's not how it works. And normally you'll wake up, it could be a little cloudy, mostly cloudy. The sun starts popping out by mid to late morning. Sun's out all the way to about the afternoon and it gets very hot, very humid. And then, you know, you just get your traditional summer showers and storms that pop up. Even on days when there's a 10 to 20% chance, you can get that isolated chance of some showers and storms that popping up as far as temperatures. Um, traditional summer like temperatures now this little upper trough upper level low coming through is not traditional weather so if you're in ohio valley the midwest uh, it's actually going to be especially behind the, the storms that move through the intense storms that move through places like iowa yesterday you're actually going to have a pretty not chilly but a nice cool saturday especially right directly under the upper level low like places like iowa um and um northern areas of Illinois some lower humidity and some lower temperatures um, but I think if you're in the Carolinas um, the deep south especially South Carolina I think temperatures are going to soar today um, maybe some places might nip the mid 90s um, uh, very humid conditions and then the nasty storms are probably going to fire up a little bit later today and just hot everywhere else and then obviously you see you can see where the storms and showers move through um, and then same thing tomorrow. It'll heat up really quick, but check out that upper level low pivoting here where cooler temperatures are here in the Midwest. So that's very interesting. You don't get that a whole lot this late in the year, but it's not uncommon either. But um, so that's pretty much it for your weekend forecast. Um, I have a little bit in depth video later today, just, just talking about what to expect throughout July. Take a look at the tropics and when it's gonna amp up again. And, uh, but that's all I got. Um, if anything, if y'all got anything I can pray about, anything anybody else can pray about, please put it in the comments so we can all help each other out with that and uh, give God an opportunity to help you all out. So um, <clears throat> thank y'all for tuning in and y'all have a blessed day.